Hello, my name is John Hayden, a librarian at the Cockersville branch. I'd like to tell you about the book I recently read. Robert Harris is certainly an eclectic writer, a novelist whose interest spans many topics, whether it is ancient Rome, World War II, or his landmark novel, An Officer and a Spy, about French intrigue in the 19th century. Harris always excels as a storyteller. His latest book, Act of Oblivion, does not disappoint. This is a revenge and chase story set in the wilds of colonial New England in the 1600s. With all the talk about the royal family these days, what with the Queen's recent death and Princess Harry's explosive book, it is easy to forget that once upon a time, England was a republic from 1649 to 1660. Harris reminds us that like America, England had a bloody and brutal civil war, a dispute between the king and parliament. This war ended with King Charles I being executed and a man called Oliver Cromwell leading the nation as Lord Protector. In our book, The Times Have Changed, royalty has returned with a revenge. Charles's son is on the throne. He'll pardon some for their crimes in the Civil War, but not those 59 regicides who signed his dad's death warrant. There's no mercy for them. They must be tracked down and face a gruesome death at the gallows. Most of the 59 regicides have been caught, but two men who fought alongside Cromwell, Colonel Edward Wally and Colonel William Goff, are on the run. They've gone across the Atlantic to the New World. The man hunting them, Robert Naylor, the only fictitious character in this very true story, a mixture of Bruce Willis and Liam Neeson on a bad hair day, he's out for blood. Paul Wally and Goff are fleeing for their lives on horseback, like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Wanted posters for their capture, dead or alive, appear throughout Puritan New England. Will these two regicides find freedom or the blade of the executioner? Find out about this riveting book from your local library or go to bcpl.info. Thank you and see you where the books are.